Hello, hello, hello. Social media believers. Um, I do want to share something with you. I see a lot of controversy on TikTok more than any other app. Sometimes it tries to weave its way in other ones. Advice from one sister in the faith to whoever. Um, if you see a comment you don't like, just delete it. Don't respond. Um, Jesus kept his mouth closed when he was being accused of everything. We should do the same. Also, um, I see a lot of people letting people know when someone's false and letting them know when they're not, this, this, and that. Okay, let me let me say something that might help you. If you're still listening to this video, well, God bless you. Um, I want to say this out of love, and I pray that it helps you. Lord, please touch them. Amen. Um, if God wants you to share a word, most of them he'll say, tell my people. And he will be very specific. A lot of times it's about telling people to repent. Or everything's going to be okay. Um, that's normally what God does. He doesn't tell your business to everyone. He doesn't give every detail. Um, because God doesn't humiliate people. He doesn't work that way. Be careful not to dip into divitating spirits by incident of error and ignorance. Um, also, I remember when God told me some words that and he wanted me to share them. I was very, very scared. Most of the time when someone has to share a word, it takes us time to get built up. And I am not a prophet. Don't ever call me one. Do not call me that. Now, that being said, I am a child of God. Um, and I want y'all to remember this too. Children of God, you're going to make mistakes. You're excited, you're zealous, but you're still going to make mistakes and you're going to have to go to God and you're going to have to listen. You're going to have to sit in his presence and learn how to do things properly and accurately and even with etiquettes. Yes, there's an etiquette way to do things in the body of Christ. There's, us women need to be elegant. We need to be beautiful with God's glory shining on us. And men need to be strong and masculine in the way the word says. And... We just really need to be careful, be kind, be careful not to speak against God's anointed. You need to try the spirits, so pray for God to give you his wisdom, his discernment, and everything. Ask God for his wisdom and his discernment, and he will give it to you abundantly. <laughs> um, and that being said, um, God will tell you to tell people to repent, absolutely. He'll be like, Tell my people to repent. Tell my people need to be reconciliation. I've had so many words come to me. And it just, you'll know when it's God. You'll know when it's not. But you better try that and make sure it is God. Um, when I first started following the Lord, I would, I would push it for months not saying anything. I wouldn't say anything. I remember one time I, I said something. I shared a word. And I had people just jumping all over me and just calling me names. And, well, you know what? If they did that to Jesus, what more are they going to call you? What more are they going to do to you if they did it to him? Buckle up, buttercup. The ride's about to get bumpy. <sighs> the Lord says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. That means keep your mouth off of them. If you don't understand, you don't agree, you don't believe, keep your mouth shut. Just shut up. Yes, yes, I said it. Shut up. Because you can't say be quiet. You can't say hush. People still talk. Stop talking. Stop moving your lips. Stop letting sounds come out. Go to the Lord in prayer and wait. And do not share every revelation you get from God either. And don't share every conversation you have. And don't share every worship thing that you're doing. Have a private relationship with God. You're supposed to be like a marriage, okay? That's why it's like a marriage, he explains in the Bible. Because it ain't meant for everybody to know all your business. Hello. Stay blessed. Stay strong, blood family in Christ. I hope this helps someone.